Carving a Thanksgiving turkey can be a daunting task for the uninitiated. So we ask the executive chef at the New York Institute of Technology's DeSiversky Center for a few carving tips. Carol Pack has more. It's a feast for the eyes as well as the stomach. A perfectly cooked turkey fresh out of the oven. But that doesn't mean your work uh, you is done. Ladle, you still need to carve the bird, and that's a job in itself. Uh, Robert Rizzuto, executive chef of the New York Institute of Technology's DeSaversky Center in Old Westbury, says a turkey, turkey is a, easier to carve if you let it rest after it's cooked. Then he says you can start the carving process by removing the wings. The legs are next, but they're a bit trickier. And there's a joint there, and you want to kind of get underneath the joint and pull it out. And then move on to the breast meat. There's a bone that comes up the top here. If you run your knife, coming down, and then you have the wishbone here. And as you're coming down, you want to come along the wishbone. And then there's another joint down here, which attaches the wing bone. And you just want to work your fingers in there, right along. We've already gone through the wing bone, and you kind of want to just pull the breast, it should come across for you. And at this point, instead of coming down this way, if the, the turkey's on the carcass, you're going to start to slice it this way. And when it comes to dark meat, Rizzuto says you can either slice it or just pull it apart. You can present this like this and put your turkey slices around it if you'd like as well. Once your turkey is sliced, just slip it back into the oven to keep it warm until your guests arrive. In Old Westbury, Carol Pack, LI News Tonight.